Well, I'm back. I, I enjoyed your comments and answering everybody and talking to everybody again. That was a lot of fun. If you just want to go to the tonal experiment, I'll put the timestamp in the description. But I just wanted to explain to you guys what's been going on for the last year and why I stopped making videos. And the main reason was my hand, but the, another probably even more of a reason was I was having a tonal slump and I'm sure everybody can relate to that. And I could get a decent sound, but I couldn't record a good sound because I have these cheap cameras and I'm stuck with these cheap cameras. They're point and shoot, very simple. Every time I try to upgrade, it just, it's a nightmare because I end up spending all my time trying to figure out how to use the equipment and not playing. I'm back to the simple flip camera. It's what I've been using from the very beginning. It actually did record some very good videos that I've done. I mean, that famous basement video has got almost 700,000 views. But please bear with me. They do the trick. It's not super high quality, but it's all I got. What I was doing last night at this tonal experiment was to see if I could get a decent sound again. And you be the judge, but whatever the sound is now is kind of what I'm stuck with. And it is better than it was. And to get out of my tonal slump, it was just a matter of swapping tubes. I think it was mostly just tired tubes. I, I got a new set of CBS uh, 5881s, which are tongue saw 5881s. I think they're from the late 50s. Never been used, and they're great. They're in the 60s right now. And I got, uh, I got a new GE triple mica 5751 and v1 and a couple of 7025s that i had from other amps that they're used but they were in good shape and so the the tone just kind of came back and one thing that i recommend and it is you know i'm kind of an anti-effects guy i mean you got to have a vibe if you're going to do hendrix you got to have a fuzz you got to have a wah wah but everything else, all those boosts and all that stuff, it really just de detracts from your, your true tone. So there's some clean stuff in the tonal experiment. There's fuzz, wah-wah, vibe. Um, and that's pretty much it. It's just a quick little experiment. I'll put a time stamp in the description so you can see where the music starts. It's just a short little experiment to see if I can record again. I've got the next uh, Hendrix song. It's going to be that title number three from uh, the four CD set. And it's typical Hendrix. I thought it was going to be fairly simple. But when you start looking at everything he does, it's, it's unreal. I mean, he plays on every position of the neck. It sounds the same, but he switches positions for a reason. And his trill is always in perfect rhythm. I mean, he'll speed up, slow down. He gets it going. I mean, it's just unreal. He hits the wa he hits the fuzz, turns it on right to, at a certain spot in the song several times. So he's using his fuzz as a part of the song. I mean, he just does everything fits in the song perfectly. But. Just uh, hopefully you can bear with the new tone and the old cameras and stick with me. I'll try to get as many Hendrix songs out there as I can this year. And we'll just go from there. I'm glad to be back. I'm glad you guys are, have all been healthy, hopefully. I know some of my friends have gotten COVID. A lot of my family got it. And knock on wood. And praise God that I have yet to get it, and neither has my wife. But uh, we kind of seclude ourselves quite a bit, so you know we don't make contact with a lot of people. But we did come in contact with all the COVID people, and we didn't get it. But uh, so, all right, that's it. Enough of my talking, and uh, I'll be back a little later. <laughs>